Okay guys, so I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk about our new social space. But before I go any further, drop a like and a comment to be in with a chance of winning my weekly giveaway. Details are on screen now. Okay, so this new social space, a place for us to chill on our lonesomes or in a fire team, a place we store and collect loot, a place we pick up bounties and quests, basically our Destiny 2 hubs, the centre of all what we do. Now we previously had the tower to do all of this for us, but Dominic Ghoul or Gary destroyed all of that along with all our precious loot. So within Destiny 2, we have a new social space and it's basically a farm with chickens running about and barns all over the place and we'll be storing our loot in sheds I'm guessing, what the hell? But on a serious note, I love this idea. Let's face it, we've had the tower for years now. This change is basically the complete opposite and it is cool and in my opinion it is welcomed. So this farm is located, well due to Gary destroying our home, we have to travel beyond the safety of the city walls which no doubt have been destroyed. We have to seek safety by going into the wild and we end up here in the European dead zone. Which I'm pretty sure Bungie said was the biggest environment they've ever made in any game ever, which is crazy. So why here? Why this farm out in the wild? Well it's obvious we need the traveller's light. But with Dominic School draining that light, it's quite apparent it's having an effect on our guardians. So when we are seeking refuge, there's already an idea in everyone's head. We need to find this shard, which is what we do, which was discarded from the Traveller during the collapse of the Golden Age. So a piece of the Traveller is out there and we find it. This is where we start retreating and rally together within this new social space. Now this shard has been in Destiny's lore since I can remember and it's epic that we're actually getting to experience more of the lore within Destiny 2. Okay, so more about this social space and what it offers. Now the tower, like I said, was like the hub of Destiny 1. This farm, I believe, will be the exact same, so to speak. With faction vendors, a cryptarch, which I have spotted and will show you guys in a second. As well as fun things to do as a fire team, more though than just dance parties and trying to glitch on a ball. I believe this new social space will be the home of new characters who will help us on our journey. Characters such as Hawthorne, who was born in the city. Hawthorne actually left as a teen to seek a life of freedom in the wilderness outside the safety of the walls. She survived for years outside the Guardian's protection and has come to learn her true purpose to provide shelter to humanity by helping them not only survive but lead a better way of life. Now as well as Hawthorne, I'm guessing we will meet and interact with many new characters, which I can't wait for. So what factions will be within this farm? What vendors? Now it's obvious we will get a Vanguard and a Crucible vendor, that's basically completely pointless to mention. But will any old factions be making a return? And I can say that they will be. We will see the return of Dead Orbit, Future War Call and New Monarchy, as weapons and armors from these factions can be seen within the trailers of Destiny 2. Now there are plenty of new armors and weapons that have been seen, but putting names on them and relating them to factions at this precise moment in time is just guessing and I ain't gonna do that. Now as well as new monarchy, dead orbit and future war cult, will there be any new factions within this farm? Who knows, but I'd probably guess yes. Now this farm will also be the home to the Cryptarch, seen in this snippet here, but only for a split second, which many people missed. We also get Vault Space again, which was pretty obvious. But we also get, and this is the best part people, our very own small football field, which I cannot wait to play on. No doubt there's going to be secrets here and there too within this farm. So the European dead zone, near the Shard of the Traveller. On this farm we find our new refuge, our Destiny 2 social hub, the centre of our game. And that is it guys for another video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did do smash that like button, I do appreciate the support. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video of mine, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I upload. If you want to interact with me on other social media sites, links are in the video description. But thanks as always for stopping by and I will see you on that next one. Always in the